Hi and welcome back guys. Hope you're all having a great day out there. I want to do a quick walk down the beach here and talk to you about a few things here as there's a lot of money at stake with both XRP and XLM. And if you're like me and you've been investing in these two coins for years now, as we start to see the gas being pushed a little bit here today, we're up about four and a half percent on XRP. I believe XLM at the time of this recording is up about 2%. We're seeing Flair take a little dip. We're seeing uh, XDC take a little bit of dip, but they'll do pretty well in this bull run as well. Uh, this is not the time to be fudded out of your bags. Now, we are finding it to be harder and harder every single day to separate what the truth is versus what's just false fake news. And so in this quick video, I want to talk to you about something we've come up on within the past 24 hours and uh, give you the truth. If you like talking about XRP and XLM, guys, you know what to do. Drop those X's, smash those like buttons, share the video far and wide, and let others know what is truly happening in this digital revolution. As just last night, I put out a video in which I talked about how there's an article put out in which it essentially was trying to make it seem as though there was a new case against ripple right and so a new case in california and so i said in that video you know this is a nothing burger it appears to just be fud that we'd take a look a closer look at it but essentially just annoyance and it doesn't mean anything and so here we are today eleanor Tarrant, who is a friend of the xrp army right uh put out a statement saying been getting messages about the lawsuit this is not new ripple versus zakanov case was back in 2018. so shame on coingate for putting this article out and shame on all of these they claim to be crypto friendly articles out there putting out hit pieces on both XRP and XLM, primarily on XRP, but as we know, you know, you can look at the charts. XLM is essentially the brother or sister, however you want to look at it. It's always kind of tied in with XRP. Uh, what my goal was, as I've always told you guys, is to get out the truth and tell you what's going on in this digital revolution. What we are finding now, as we get closer and closer to the full on bull run, you know, we got the Bitcoin have, having coming up in April and we're seeing the gas being pumped already, which honestly kind of surprises me. And I do want to let you guys know we are in greed in the fear and greed index. If you don't already know, there could be a slight pullback in my personal opinion. There could be a little bit of a shakeout right before things absolutely go crazy and we start to see big rips and the market starts going parabolic as it always does and, and uh in the midst of a, a nice bull run. Uh, but what we are finding in the XRP army and the XLM fam is more FUD, more hit pieces on us. And I just wanna make a simple video here today and tell you all now is not the time to be FUDded out. Now is not the time to be stressed out and start trading back and forth. Because what happens is, especially newbies, once the bull run starts, it starts stressing people out because they start seeing other projects, other coins, tokens uh, flying and theirs isn't. So they jump into a different project, jump into a different token when it's already ran up only to turn around and get completely wrecked as the project they jumped in or, or, or the project they jumped out of, I should say, in this case, XRP jumped out of starts to pump extremely hard starts to go parabolic then they jump back into that when all, a lot of the money and a lot of the multiples have already been made and so it happens every time it will happen again but if you're new to this market even if you're a seasoned vet in this market now is not the time to get stressed it's not the time to fomo on new upcoming projects and it certainly is not the time to listen to fud and the lies out there. What we will do is bring you the truth every single day, let you know what's going on, take a little bit deeper dive into it and present it in a way that we can all understand in a simple manner. And so now is just the time to sit back, relax, let the market do its thing. Again, I do think that we are gonna get a little bit of a shakeout. Let me know in the comments sec section what you guys think. 
Um, past 24 hours has been pretty crazy in this market. We've seen a lot of action and uh, this is nothing compared to what we're gonna have, especially second part of the year. That's all I got for you for now. Guys, I appreciate all your support. Please don't forget to drop those X's, click those like buttons, share the video far and wide, and we'll see you in the next one.